In this video, I'm going to take these awesome rainbow diffraction glasses and hook them up directly to my cell phone so that I can examine the spectrum of Christmas lights and ultimately capture a spectrum of the planet Jupiter with my cell phone. So what I decided to do is take these glasses and put them directly on the camera uh, on the other side of my cell phone. So I'm going to flip around my view so that you can see exactly what I see when I look through these awesome glasses. All right, brace yourself. Okay, so you're looking at my kitchen light and right here you can see what I'm seeing in real time through my eyes, which is this crazy rainbow of light coming out of the kitchen light. So these are these spectrum diffraction glasses. Now, why I love this is because when I look at all different kinds of light sources, I can see the rainbow coming out of all those different kinds of lights. <clears throat> of course, the rainbow looks a little different depending on the type of light source it is. So LED lights like these have a particular kind of rainbow where you can see all the colors, but other kinds of lights will have different kinds of rainbows. So, uh, and the reason this is so cool is that at Christmas time, of course, we have lots and lots of different lights. So uh, I've got my Christmas tree here <clears throat> and um, you can see how awesome this is because I can see all the lights shining the different colors. And what's particularly cool here is if I look at, let's just say this blue light real close, okay? Now that blue light, <clears throat> its particular spectrum is right here. And you can see that there's no red or green or yellow. It's just the blue and a little bit of green that's coming out of that particular blue light bulb. So the, the plastic around it is filtering out the red and green light. But if I look at the yellow bulb just next to it, you can see that it has green, red and yellow light coming out, which is crazy that our eyes perceive that green and red light as really just bright yellow. <clears throat> now it gets really bonkers when we go outside, especially at night and especially at Christmas. So let's go take a look. Yeah. So uh, it's a little bit of madness when you come out here to try to make sense out of everything we're seeing, but I'm just gonna orient myself first of all with this light post, right? And you could see a beautiful, really strong spectrum coming off of that light post where, it, you know, notice how it's not continuous. There is a little dip there where it's not as bright, but it's, we see the purples and the blues all the way through greens, yellows and red. And if I go and look at my house, it gets really crazy. And I can see the same thing that I saw on my Christmas tree, right? Which is if I go up close to, let's just say this blue light, and I try to isolate that spectrum there, you can see that I, I'm getting just the, just the blue part of the spectrum. But if I were to go over to a yellow light, I see uh, a little bit of blue, but mostly the green and red. Now, what I think is really cool about this, oh, that's awesome. Whoa, whoa, trippy, okay. What's really cool about this is I can actually point this up at a bright star in the sky and using just literally my cell phone and a 99 cent Christmas spectrum glasses, I can try to capture the spectrum of a bright star. Now in this case, it's actually a planet, but you could see it up there. And uh, I think this is Jupiter in this case. And um, all those rainbows you're seeing are actually from the Christmas lights around the house. But I'm gonna find kind of a dark spot over here on the side of my house and I'm gonna set up my camera on a tripod. And I'm not changing anything. I'm not gonna add any um, additional devices. I'm just gonna use these glasses. And I'm gonna take a 30 second exposure of Jupiter. And uh, here, I'll show you right now as I'm narrating, you can see that we can actually see the spectrum of Jupiter right there on my cell phone. This is like exactly the method that astronomers use to carefully study the light that's coming from distant stars and planets, right? And by carefully looking at the exact colors of the rainbow that we see from these light sources, we can tell not only what that object is made out of, we can tell how hot it is. In some cases, we can tell how big it is. We can measure all kinds of amazing properties just from taking a spectrum of these crazy light sources. Anyway, beautiful Christmas science.